Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching for today. So last time we created the Nothing OS 2.0 applications and features for Nothing Phone 1. It's a non-root method which will bring the Nothing OS 2.0 launcher, weather application, Nothing card services and click composer from Nothing Phone to Nothing Phone 1. Its complete review video link is given in the video description. But today we brought the new root method which will bring complete new user interface of settings new lock screen widgets and features, new wallpapers, new clock widgets, new experimental nothing was features like new glyph progress bar, volume indicator and all other applications like glyph ringtone composer, launcher, weather application which you already seen in the last video. The experimental features may work or may not work for you and this module may cause some issues so follow at your own risk. Please watch the video till the end for proper working and to check the issues related to this mod. If you got any issues, it can be solved easily. So if you are interested to try this new adventure, without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. On the new adventure. Let's start with the requirements and the preparation before flashing this mod. Your device must be on the nothing OS 1.5.6. But in this video, I tried it on the 1.5.5 and it worked with some issues. So it's recommended to upgrade to nothing OS 1.5.6. Your device must be rooted with the Magix installed. Tutorial regarding how to root with the Magix patch a boot image is given under the video description. Now download the mod. It's about 350 MB in the size. Please keep the developer option and USB debugging on. So if something goes wrong due to the module, you can easily recover your device. Its video tutorial is also available under the video description. Next step you have to do if you are already installed and using all the application from the last video like nothing launcher, weather application, glyph composer, etc. We have to uninstall all of their updates we installed. For that, go to the settings, then application and search for the mentioned applications. Like here, I search for the nothing OS launcher. I already installed its latest version is 2.0 from the nothing OS 2. To uninstall this update, tap on the top right 3 dot menu. There you will find the uninstall update. Once uninstalled the updates, now we will see the launcher version is downgraded to 1.6.6. .6. Similarly, you have to uninstall the updates for weather application. As you installed the new nothing card services application last time, so we didn't guess the uninstall update option here. So we have to just uninstall the full application. Similarly, uninstall the Glyph Light Composer applications too. Skip this application's downgrade step if you have not installed any of these applications previously. Now all setup has been done. Now flash the Magix module given under the video description using the Magix application. Once done, reboot the phone. Don't skip the next part of the video because there I shown all the features of this mod and issues I faced. So watch the video till the end. After reboot, please check the versions of all applications we have installed. For me, all these applications not updated, they are still on old version. Launcher application will also force close if you try to use its home setting. If you also face this issue, you have to manually install all the applications once again. Their download links are given under the video description. Like nothing launcher, weather application, nothing card services and new patch glyph light composer. Install all the updates of these applications. Today I will not show you all the features of these applications, we already discussed them in the old video. But I will show you what's new I found here. Under the widget section I got the new clock widgets of nothing OS 2.0. This is an analog clock looks very similar to the Google Mother clock widget. Next we got the new nothing phone to wallpapers under the wallpapers and style section. These are some of the unique and high quality wallpapers from nothing phone to which are looking amazing. Now let's check out some UI changes I found after flashing the mod. Under the QS panel for brightness slider, progress bar has dotted look which you can check on the screen. Similarly, you get same volume slider control. It's also looking very nice. Next, you will get the complete overall in the look of the settings panel like nothing phone 2. New settings panel has the card like panel for the network and connected devices. Similarly for the about phone who get this new about phone details look from the nothing phone too. This one is also looking very nice. 
if we check the weather application its version is already updated to 1.3.2 and we already discussed its features like weather and weather warning notifications in the old video but first time i got this actual heavy rainfall warning notification within the application if you tap on it you get the complete details regarding the warning which is really helpful feature next under the lock screen option you get lots of amazing options available only for the nothing was 2.0 like lock screen widgets here you can able to add the clock and weather widgets on the lock screen who gets some toggles like single tap to wake the screen it's working perfectly without any issues next toggle is to lift to check the phone this one is also working flawlessly and it's very useful to quickly check the notifications on the lock screen who also gets the option to add the text on the lock screen and it will be visible below the fingerprint icon on the lock screen We also get the always on display toggle but it's buggy. I will show you its bug under the bug section of the video. Now let's check out the Glyph Lite exclusive features from the Nothing Phone 2 and the major issues regarding this module. Under the Glyph interface section we get the completely new UI as compared to the old Nothing OS version. First card represents the brightness control for the Glyph Lite. Next to that we get the ringtone setting card here we get the new nothing phone to ringtones option but it's still buggy and blank but glyph composer ringtones option is working here you can find all the ringtones that you created using the glyph composer these ringtones are working properly with the proper synchronizations with the glyph lite all the old nothing machine ringtones are also available here and they are working properly similarly we get another card setting for notification tone setup It's also working without any issues. Next setting is for flip to glyph. This one is also working good without any issues. Google Assistant glyph light indicator toggle is also working. Charging meter glyph setting is available and working fine. But now comes the serious issues of the glyph user interface. Nothing phone to exclude the glyph features like volume indicator is available, but it's not working at all. Glyph progress bar is available but it's only available for some supported applications like Uber. In future more applications will get support for the Glyph progress bar. But once I tried to set up the Uber application, this setting caused the major problem like sudden crash and reboot of the device. After that phone may stuck on this screen where it will ask to try again for reboot or do the format data but don't worry just select try again and phone will boots back. Similarly other nothing phone exclusive features like glyph timer and nothing phone glyph composer causing the force reboot of the device. I can't guarantee these features may work on your device or not. Maybe I am using the nothing was 1.5.5 that's why these are causing the force reboot. So always try to use this on the nothing OS 1.5.6 and let us know in the comment section it's working for you or not. Another issue I faced regarding the always on display it's not working even if you enable its toggle under the lock screen setting only fingerprint icon is visible with the AOD mode but full screen AOD is not working sometime it's may work and sometime it's not next issue is for the face unlock while setting up the face unlock selfie camera is not accessible so you can't able to use the face unlock These are some of the bugs of this mod which are deal breaking for some users but in the future developers of this mod will fix them soon and once it gets fully fixed this will be the great achievement for now skip the use of buggy features that are shown for the proper working of your device if you don't like this mod just remove the magic module and reboot everything will be fine so that's it for today guys hope you liked my work then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content for nothing phone one thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye